Che Lin Lee, CL, began her career at the age of 15 with the company YG Entertainment. At that time, YGE's CEO was Yang Hyun Suk. 2009, 21 debuted and grew a large supportive fan base and a phenomenal music portfolio. Even with the excitement of a hot new female group, Yang Hyun Suk was not without his criticisms, even at one point calling 21 members unattractive. This did not phase the girls, however. Their star was rising fast and it was one making history. Just one year later in 2012, 21 will see the most exposure to overseas markets thanks to fellow YGE acts like Psy and Big Bang. They placed several times over the next couple years on various Billboard charts. Yang Yun Suk, notorious for having bad timing, then put 21 on new music hiatus for two years so they could go on world tour. It was supposed to be at this time that 21 was poised to make an impact overseas. However, that impact wasn't at all what was expected. The group may have struggled to break out at this point. As for CL, she put out her solo single, Baddest Female, in 2013, but never mentioned an actual solo career. This song propelled 21 along and gave CL her new moniker, The Baddest Female. In 2014, 21's Crush sold 5,000 copies in four days in America, peaking at number 61 on Billboard 200 and setting a new U.S. record for highest charting and best-selling K-pop album. However, 2014 will not end on a positive note. Member Puck Bomb became involved in a drug scandal regarding American prescription medication. Her contract would be suspended. So bittersweet is that Billboard magazine would list Crush as best K-pop album of 2014. Twenty fourteen was a very busy year indeed for CL. In October twenty fourteen, CL announces solo plans for a US debut. CL teamed up with Hot at the time, music producer Scooter Braun. She was backed by Korean powerhouse YGE and the talents of Mr. Braun to guide her. There was massive expectation for her to do well. However, again there's a reality that shattered those expectations. Though being too featured on several American artist songs, CL herself did not release any new music. She was in America, but was placed on a Yang Hyun Suk hiatus to release new music. So instead of striking out immediately, she was forced to wait a year to actually release music that she wanted. A wise business move would have been to send CL overseas, already packaged with a new album and new music to offer the American audiences. In a way, YG just handed CL off to Mr. Brim. Mr. Braun, unprepared, saying, hey, you handle this. 2015, CL being frustrated with YGE for not allowing her to release new music to her fans, went ahead and released Hello Bitches Anyway. Hello, bitches. Hello Bitches was a free single and was originally only released on SoundCloud. YG had no plans to release it. However, Yang, Yang Hyun Suk, being the shady ass that he is, saw how many listens and downloads the song received and YG copyrighted it and put it on sale for Korean music sites. Yang Hyun Suk took credit for the song and claimed it was just released late. By releasing music without Yang Hyun Suk's knowledge, proving that she was still a player in the K-pop industry, CL inadvertently humiliates YG. 
Now that YG basically snatched the, the credit away from CL, YG was forced to make a music video for Hello Bitches. The version that was released to audiences was the dance version. This version features the amazing choreographer, Paris. Paris made an appearance in Big Bang's Bang 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 video. Yang Yun Suk strategically released a Hello Bitches version where more people were focused on Paris than CL because obviously it was a dance version. Fans knew of an original version that was filmed focusing only on CL, but YG, again, refused to release it. Fans that knew of its existence continuously demanded YG release it. A full year later, CL herself released the original version during her American concert tour. Many have never seen the original, but again, this behavior went against Yang Yun Suk. She premiered and showed a music video that YG never intended to release in any form. This hurts YG's massive ego and deep misogynistic beliefs. However, Hello Bitches put CL back on the K-pop scene. It was a hit, but it was just one song, a single. In 2016, she finally released her EP Lifted. It was released in America to lukewarm reception. Lifted would be the last time she released her own music to date. Sadly, 2016 was also the year that Yang Yun Suk announced this is the disbandment of 21. He already had a new girl group, so it was no problem for him. In his most sinister and petty way, YG ultimately checked CL for the past year's humiliations. 21 would produce one last song, appropriately named Goodbye. In 2016, 21 would perform as a group for the last time. In January 28th, it was announced CL had been cast in the American movie Mile 22. At this time of writing, we hope that, C that American acting will be a more promising venture for CL. CL was also chosen to perform at the closing ceremonies of the 2018 Winter Olympics, where, of course, she slayed. CL is still waiting to create music for her Korean fans. It has been two years on hiatus and CL has begun to feel the pressure. Signs of concern started in January 2018. CL must have been reaching out to YG and received some kind of sign that she might be able to release new music again. She posted an Instagram denoting as much. Fans, of course, grew excited. However, nothing came of it. There were no further announcements and CL went quiet, but not before liking comments saying she should leave YG. Fans became concerned and thought this might actually mean that CL was planning on leaving YG. To these comments, CL's reply focused on the other YG artists. Shortly after the Olympics performance, CL must have become homesick. CL, it is now known, increased her attempts to contact her manager, Yang Yun Suk, only to receive a cold shoulder. Finding it harder and harder to keep her feelings in and not wanting to seem deliberate in her messaging, CL quietly dropped hints hidden in an Instagram post. As the weeks passed, CL continues to, contact, to try to contact YG. July 2018, fans get clued in on CL's situation when CL directly messages Yang Hyun Suk on his Instagram. <music> CL's attempts to be heard by Yang Hyun Suk continuously put pressure on him. For every comment she likes, it's another burn. It is now public knowledge that CL is having concerns and YG just doesn't seem to care. In August 2018, fans were shocked to see a larger CL arrive in Korea to have a personal meeting with YG face to face. Fans became worried and concerned that the weight gain was due to large amounts of stress. It's understandable she should have stress, her career's on the line and her own manager refuses to take responsibility. The last time, as of this video, we will hear from CL regarding the weight gain 
will be in a statement responding to fans' concerns of stress, where CL denies its stress. It seems that CL may be afraid to admit to YG, who was known to find mental issues weak, that she might be stressed. That's all the information on CL to date. Whether she met YG or they agreed on future plans for CL, there is no information yet. As of note, researching to see if any posts still existed regarding all of this, there are none to find. Everything that had CL attempting to contact YG has been deleted on both YG and CL's accounts. CL has always been one to speak her mind. YG has always been misogynistic towards females. In this case, YG has all the power. CL could be successful beyond imagination in Korea and globally, but YG refuses to allow this to happen. He has already admitted to tampering with the trainee's career in order for them to be unsuccessful, his wife in this case. A man this petty in control of so many young female lives is scary. My hope for CL is that she will again be able to do what she loves, which is making music and performing for her fans. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, please leave a like, comment below so we can have a discussion, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you guys next time.